Right here, I've got a whole load of substances and I'm going to see which of these dissolve and which of them don't, which are soluble and which are not. So looking along here, I think we've got hot chocolate, sand, sugar, coffee, looks a bit weird that coffee, I don't know, I wouldn't drink it, salt, copper sulfate, ammonium chloride and iron filings. So it's going to add some water to each one. I'm not too worried, not too worried about the amount, but roughly something similar. Going to need to give it a good old stir in a moment. Let's get some more water. Top them up a bit. Right, let's give them all a quick stir. Right, let's go along and I stir all these and I think we're gonna give them a minute or two just to settle. Okay, so I've had a stir, I've had a little short sit around and let's have a look, which has dissolved. Well, this one here, hot chocolate, that is still sort of very cloudy. You can't really see through that. That's a bit manky. That's what we call a suspension. Suspension, you can't see anything sitting at the bottom, but this sort of stuff all the way through. This one here is sand. Well, that doesn't dissolve. That's just, uh, uh, that's just sitting there at the bottom. So this one here is sugar, and that is completely dissolved. That is gone. It's soluble. No surprise there completely gone. This one here was the coffee and I can't feel anything on the bottom. When I'm stirring it I can't feel anything there. It's not transparent but I think that is soluble. It, it has all gone. This one is salt. That's all gone. Soluble. This one here, copper sulfate. Nothing sitting at the bottom. That's all gone. That's soluble. Ammonium chloride. Nothing there, it's all gone. And this one here is iron filings, uh, just little bits of metal, and that's just sitting there at the bottom. That is not soluble. We're going to see which of those solutions will go through a piece of filter paper. And this is a piece of filter paper. We're going to see what gets trapped in there. We're going to use a thing called a conical flask and a funnel. And we're going to Put the filter paper into the funnel. And this is how you do a filter paper. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. So it's a quarter. Then we open it up again and you do three bits of paper on one side and just one bit of paper on the other side. And it goes like that. And then it goes into your funnel and it should stay there especially when it's wet when it's wet it'll stay there it might jump out a bit yeah it moves about a bit when it's dry but it should stay there when it's wet okay i'm going to pour this hot chocolate into the filter paper remember it was a suspension to start with it wasn't completely dissolved let's go i'm going to leave it there and that'll take a couple of minutes you should be able to see it starting to drip out the bottom and straight away you see that's actually clear water that's coming out the bottom. That's anyway, let's crack on and do the rest. So this next one, I think this one is sand. Let's pour them through. You can see the sand which didn't dissolve, just sitting in the bottom. The next one, I believe is sugar. And I think we're gonna leave these five minutes. I'll just pour the rest in and we'll come back to them shortly. Right, so here's the hot chocolate. That sort of half dissolved and half isn't. It's what you call a suspension. Uh, there's some bits being left. That's called residue, just sitting inside the filter paper. Down there, it's sort of gone cloudy, sort of cloudy stuff come through. Some of it's gone through and not others. This one was sand. Can you see, if we look in there, there's the sand. The sand's just sitting there. The residue is sand and 
is clear water at the bottom. Now remember, the sand didn't dissolve, the sand did not dissolve, and it's got caught there. This one is sugar. Now, it's hard to know what's happened here, really, because you can't see anything. There's nothing to see. There's no residue. Sugar dissolved, and there's no residue there, and the water's gone straight through. Now, is the sugar in there? I don't know. It's not left there. It's not been left in the residue. My guess is it's got to be in there somewhere. Here's the coffee, and again, the coffee dissolved. It's a different colour. It's not transparent, but... Well, it's got a manky colour, but it seems to be going through, because down there, that is definitely going through. It looks like the coffee has gone through. It's dissolved in the water, and it's gone through. It's taken its time to come through, but it's, it's getting there. Right, this one was salt, and there's nothing in there. Nothing to see, there's no residue, nothing left behind. Uh, and it's just clear water at the bottom. Where's the salt? Well, I presume it must be in there. I can't see it, but it, presumably it's in there. This one is copper sulphate, and that is still going through. It was blue, there's no residue. Remember that dissolved, it's soluble, there's no residue. Um, and we can clearly see it's there, it's blue. This one here is, uh, oh, I've forgotten what it was, ammonium chloride, I think. Ammonium chloride, and there's no residue, no residue, and it's gone through, presumably it's in the water, you can't see it. And this is the last one, this is iron filings, remember that, that did not dissolve, and the thing that didn't dissolve is sitting there, clearly sitting there, in the filter paper, and it's not gone through. So it looks like... The things that don't dissolve, the things that don't dissolve, like the iron filings, that gets caught, and the sand that didn't dissolve, that's got caught. They're both insoluble, and the sand, no, oh, sorry, the, the hot chocolate's sort of half gone through and half not. Right, these are the substances that dissolved. They've gone straight through the filter paper, or they seem to have gone through the filter paper. They're not in the filter paper. Now this one, copper sulfate, looks like it's gone straight through, because it's blue. But what I would like to do is just pour it into a bowl. And I'm gonna leave that for a few days, let the water dry out, and gonna see what it do, or what does it look like? Now I've totally forgotten which one of these is. One of these is sugar. Let's see what's there. And one of them is salt. And the last one was called ammonium chloride, which is another type of salt. But all of those three things look like there's nothing there. The blue one looks like it's still there, but the other three... We'll see. We'll come back to them in a few days and let's see what's in there. So here are the other ones. These are the ones that went through the filter. And I left these the other day, and look at what we've got. I can't actually remember which one's which, but we've got the salt, the sugar, and the ammonium chloride. Uh, forgetting which one's which. That one's not quite dried out yet, but uh, I think that's the sugary one. This one, though, is the nicest looking one, though, isn't it? This is the copper sulfate, the one that was the blue liquid. The blue liquid went through the filter, but it was clear with the blue liquid. You could clearly see that there was something in it, which was blue. And when the water's gone, we're left with these lovely crystals. They're not worth much money, but they are very poisonous, so we will dispose of that correctly. Right, I've got some of the salt water. This is what's gone through the filter, and I'm going to see if the salt is in there. And the way I'm going to see if the salt is in there is by heating it up. So let's have a look down there. So, I've got a Bunsen burner. I'm going to turn that on. I am going to... Get that lit, it's on the safety flame there. I'm going to turn the hole and I'm going to put it onto the full blue flame and I'm going to heat this up. So we're going to start heating it. Heating it's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to, it's going to need to get really, really hot. It's going to need to boil. And then when it's boiled, we will see if the salt is still in there. And so here you can see water's boiling. It's just taken a few minutes, but it's going to take a while longer before all that water's gone. 
So as you can see, the water's finally gone. Oh, it's spitting away. Yes, it's getting very hot and we're just left with crystals of salt. I think I will move my fingers away from that. If it gets to this point, you should definitely turn it off when it starts spitting. And here we have pure salt. That's what's left in the water. That was in the water after filtration, but you just couldn't see it. But when the water's gone, there's the salt.